Penta versus Fnatic, the Germans versus the Swedes, and it is going to be the Swedes starting on the terrorist side. All right, so Fnatic, let's see what they do. Already inching their way up towards Squeaky, looking for this B, uh, B A site take, making some noise too by shooting through the door. And you know, A main was just taking control by Penta too. They smoked up and just pushed on through. So we'll see. Dennis going all the way in, finds Olaf Meister, a simple tap of the head there. And opening up that round, it's a good way to start. JW opens the door and surprise, Spitty's there, taking him down, and then Crystal closes it swiftly right after. So, uh, looks like this A take may have just been shut down off those first few kills. And uh, they're just pushing through, showing no fear right now, they're taking down Crims as well, and this is not a good look to start off for Fnatic here. Flusha and Pronax doing what they can though. Pronax does have a tech 9. Flusha finds a double. He oh, gets a triple. Oh god, a nightmare now situation. But with both of them lit, it is going to be a pretty tough win either way. And Flusha looks to be bringing that bomb back to B, seeing as to everybody rotated from Penta. Well, Flusha all by himself got the hat trick. He's got to be careful now on Shaw. Can he make it four? He's in fact put next on only nine points of health. What a play from Flusher, him and his team leader now making their way over towards this smaller B-bomb site as the CTs begin rotating here, Egad, but next and Trouble both on low HP, this could go either way. Oh, 5 health, he's gonna repeat. he's gonna do it, he's gonna chase him down, yeah, there it is. So next, does end up falling to Pronax here, and now Trouble, the man of the hour, can he get it? No, just duck peeking away, Flusher, man. Woo, that clutch, a 4k from him. Holy Just flusher crap. things. That is how good that man is. He's Jeez. That was phenomenal clockwork. Honestly, like clockwork. But uh, exactly what the Doctor ordered. Fanatic. Obviously, maybe arguably slightly more CT side. It might be expected really to tilt 9, 6, or 8, 7 in favor of the CTs. And now Fanatic, providing they don't throw this round, they're in a good position to uh, capitalize and take. 3-0 lead because the CTs of course won't be able to buy. So the bomb's been dropped to mid. Spitty has bought up a scout so they've got to be really careful here with uh, Spitty's so scout. So close. Oh. Spitty got the shot too. So Crystal now snagging up that scout. He's trying to do what he can. Does clean off JW. And uh, this A site has been completely taken over by the Fnatic side. Olaf Meister leading the charge. Going to find one. Can he get the second here for his truck? He's trying to do it. He does get tagged up a little bit. The bomb's going to be planted in Penta. They get shut down here. Honestly, after that pistol rounds, whew, you got you to gotta be a little demoralized from Penta. They, they led that off so well, too. Just unfortunate. Next now, trying to survive. Doing what he can with his 5-7. Getting pushed from behind. He gets one, two. Can he get the third, though? We know Olaf Meister is up there. That flashbang coming in. He pushes in advance. He can see his head very soon. And, oh, gets three. So, he can't get the defuse, but he's going to get some nice economical damage there to uh, the Fnatic side. Yeah, exactly. Fnatic bought some submachine guns there. They spent quite a lot of money on I'm trying to secure that round. It's like next Mike. No, eight. Okay. That ace, those that four, four kills from next. So he's going to trade that UMP for an AK now, which means that Penta, they are they going to go? No, money's not, not too good, but at least next has that AK-47. He salvaged the armor and helmet from that previous round. And the gamble here coming out from Fnatic. The problem is when you dedicate and buy these AK-47s, you've got to keep your distance. Because if you give the AK-47s to the CTs, even when they have no armor, in this case Penta do have armor, and they have two M4s, so this round is actually going to get hot and spicy and interesting now. And the question at hand is, are Fnatic going to expect this force buy? Next is going extremely aggressive at B, and he'll be calling out to his teammates that it's clear. Alright, so JW final the first headshot there onto Crystal. And uh, that... A site clear as glass. So, gonna push on in. Finding one on top of Forklift. If shot's not connecting there for Dennis, that nade is it gonna be enough. No. They do stack the nades though. They do some little to no damage there. I, I was about to say I did a lot of damage, but then I saw the health and no one dipped. And Olaf holding in mid, finding himself a double. No, Spitty. Gonna clean him up at the end. And it's a three on four. This retake is possible, but it's gonna be tough. Hmm. It is. They might just, just try save. and salvage what they can. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunate there for Dennis, but Spitty's going to know that Flusher's going to be coming. Uh, Flusher knows exactly where he is, but Spitty gets a headshot nonetheless. And solid stuff from Fnatic, but the question now is how do uh, Penta's uh, economy 
look, it's uh, not looking too good at the moment. They've salvaged two AK-47s. They could try and potentially force up this round. Wouldn't surprise me if they tried to, but money is extremely tight at this point. All right, and uh, what are they gonna do? They're gonna buy up, yeah, full buy up with the AK that was safe. Pick up for Moss and Mag Seven for Troubly, and see what they can do. These holds are gonna be on point. If not, they're put into another eco situation and gonna really struggle. So they do a four man stack mid, and they're gonna boost over actually too to try to get on top towards events. They kind of failed that a little bit. No, no, Olafmeister needing his teammate JW just a little bit. Oh, that was actually Pronax, excuse me, but uh. A little bit of misplay there. Spinny did get lit up to 23. Crim's opening up the door too. Oh, those shots are so close. Next, he's pushing up. Finding JW in mid. Takes him out. And Crim's still playing open. with everybody. These taps. Spinny. Oh, nope. Oh. What are they going to do? Fanatic haven't committed to anything just yet, and Trouble is the only man to be. Yeah, Crim knows exactly where Spinny's hiding on short. But it looks like it's going to be a decoy because Fnatic, they've decided to go straight towards this B bomb site. But look who it is. Trouble with the Swag 7 gets two. Looking for three. So close to the hat trick yet so far. And yep, there is the third kill. Jeez. Stopping Flusher from planting the bomb. And well, fair play to Penta. A lot of teams in that kind of situation would have gone head over heels and rotated all their men over to the A bomb site. But not Penta. And they've secured what could have been, uh, well, what is going to be an important round because if Fnatic had uh, taken away a 4-0 lead and forced Penta back onto an eco, then they could have easily racked themselves up five or six rounds without Penta even getting one on the board. So Penta, they've got to capitalize on this now. They've, funnily enough, got five AKs as counter-terrorists, which tells you a lot about how they've played so far. Oh, flush it with this Deeg. Almost finding the kill. Actually does get the kill in a troubly. That is a troubling time for him, so... Uh, that's that's not good. Losing that one member there. Dennis holding off in the site, finding one. He's gonna get pushed out here. Pronax, he gets a third. Oh jeez, Dennis looking for the 4K possibly. The ace can it happen. That's the real big question. And also Spitty going for that wall bang there. Dennis gets the fourth. The ace is in the site. Can he get it? They don't know he's there. He's back to quad. Know. Hmm. No, oh, Crystal knows. He's checking everything. All right. <laughs> so no ace unfortunately, but Penta, they're getting those rounds to build up a little bit of momentum. Hey, don't knife him, exactly. Dennis. What are you doing? <laughs> well, he got four kills. He's probably knifing him, asking him politely to do some of the dirty work for him. 3-2 <laughs> the score. Fnatic finally can't afford to buy up yet again. Still no AWP in the hands of Flusher. Oh, Flusher. In the hands of JW. And, of course, that's uh, that's key to Fnatic's entry fragging. But, hey, five AKs all round. The mass majority of them going towards the A-bomb site, but of course they are going to leave Flusher just lurking outside the B-bomb site to prevent any potential CT push coming out. But the CT is going very aggressive here on A. Pronax nails one in the head. Crystal joins in on the action. Down goes JW, but the smokes are going to be lobbed out. Crims finishes off Crystal, and it's three versus two. Make that two versus two, but the bomb nonetheless should still go down here. And Olaf is going to plant for main, I believe it is. So he's oh, that nade. Oh, they stopped main, but it! The bomb's not going to go down! Those Nades, holy crap. Crimson got hit by a third as well. They get the fourth out there too? What the hell? They make that work. Oh man. That was well played by Penta. Holy crap, that coordination. As well as the salvaging of the nades too. Really put that all together. Again, we talk about the Molotovs quite a lot. Um, we talk about not wasting nades at the start of rounds, and those nades weren't wasted by Penta. They, in fact, stacked most of their players towards a B bomb site, but they realized no one was coming in because Flusher was just a lone man lurking there. And uh, Eco, of course, now coming in from Fnatic. Only one Tech 9 in the hands of Crims. Yep, so. As we move on forward here, Pistols, Eco. Just as you stated, Fnatic gonna look for the aggressive plays on in. They can't get the Tech 9 plays that we're normally used to seeing, which is the headshot swiftly. Spitty's gonna pick himself up a 3k just barely. And uh, now it's all at the flush of the lone man at the B site. And uh, maybe, maybe be able to salvage a gun. Nope. Alright, next takes him down. And Penta, bring it to 4 to 3. Yeah, solid stuff from Penta. Definitely looks like they've ironed out all the niggles that they had 
uh, yesterday up against Wrecked on uh, on this very same map. However, one thing that's worth mentioning is that yesterday their T side was significantly worse than their CT side. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how the rest of this round of this uh, half, sorry, pans out and how the second half goes. But Penta, even if they lose this one, we've got next on over 12k dollars. So if they lose this one, they're going to have more than enough money to buy. As Trouble blows JW to smithereens, but Flusher will get the return frag. Hmm. A nade kill as well picked up the kill on the JW. So a lot of nade kills coming out this game. And we saw a lot of those in the main matches too, which is interesting. And kind of transitioning, I guess, over to here today. It's just nade day. And the bomb, it hasn't decided where it wants to go just yet. Fnatic's still looking for another pick to make sure they feel comfortable going anywhere. And Crystal did push up mid too. I believe you could hear them if they run a main or anything like that. So good the way hmm. Crystal's pushed all the way up to the top of mid. He's constricting the T's. He's not giving them much breathing space. But they've got to be careful here because Olaf Meister is lurking around. Crimson's making a lot of noise to try and distract Spiddy. But Fnatic are going to push straight out of mid. There is the oh, perfect no. position from Crystal. Olaf Meister will headshot him. Crimson's is going to try and breach this A bomb site, of course. The ex-LGB man looking to drop Spiddy, but it is going to leave Olaf Meister 3 versus 1. And this should, from this point onwards, be an easy round for Fnatic. For uh, Penta, sorry. <laughs> yeah, just a clutch from Olaf Meister. It's possible. He's in a 1 on 2. And uh, he's going to try to make his way into this B-bomb site. He takes out a second. Puts on a 1 health! Oh, man. Next. If you could see how much damage he did right now, he'd probably be biting himself. And now Olaf Meister versus Spiddy. One health, one dream, and one shot should be enough, but Spinny gets him down. 2k for him. Olaf Meister can only do so much. Diffuse coming out. That does hurt the economy a little bit, but like you said, the man that's loaded in next, as well as Trubly, almost at 16k, but that's going to be the eighth round to the Penta side, man. Well played but by them. Was. It was really, really good that Olaf Meister managed to plant the bomb. It's, of course, now going to allow Olaf Meister to buy up that AWP. It looks like he's going to take it rather than JW, and let's see where he is going to take it. They're probably going to try and stick him out on boost, or maybe he's going to try and go for an entry frag in B. Nope, he's running towards the A-bomb site. He could go main and try and pick the person hiding at quad, but he's just taking his time now. But uh, Flusher yet again, dropping the uh, aggressive CT push. And then uh, Trouble, going to find the first frag on the Flusher, the trading back out, so... Fnatic, again, find themselves in another even scenario. They just can't wait out on these trades. Just time after time. Just going back and forth. Penta, one of those teams that, you know, they have the power to take down Tier 1 teams. They gotta just, you know, be a little warmed up. Jump shotting. Olafmeister really just trying to get some cheeky action going in. JW gonna get boosted up. And uh, we'll fall with Dennis. And another one for one, but this time it's a two on three. Krim's looking to break into this A site. He is flashbanging his na and nading his way in. And then out mid, Crystal, not fast enough to take down Olaf Meister, so he just falls to the AWP. And it looks like Fnatic have broken through finally. It definitely took them <laughs> a few rounds to crack this German defense. The uh, Norper and Dennis will get that frag, leaving it two versus one. It's now a battle of snipers. It's a one on one, Olaf technically. Technically, but Crims is oh, he's lurking dead. from behind. Exactly, exactly. And this Jesus is what tell. Fnatic are so good at. Knife? Crims is he's going for the knife? This. No way. You think so? He saw, his, he saw his leg. He didn't shoot. He's going to go for it. No, he's going to shoot him. Okay. So, oh. No fun. I think it would have been... Uh, he wants the op. He could have jumped up and yeah. get it. Oh. He, uh, that's what I was going to say. I was surprised that he would have gone for the knife because he would have had to jump in midair and try and knife him. But 5-4. Uh, Fnatic slowly but surely making their way back into this game. And uh, they still have an AWP, so let's see who's going to take it. Looks like they, they want to keep giving this AWP to Olaf. He's obviously feeling confident with it at the moment. But I'd like to see him get boosted onto boost. Try and go for that entry frag. You know, give him and the rest of his mates something to work off. He is going to go main. And let's see if he can get this entry on A. And the typical spray through finds the kill on a spitty. Krimis has got to be pretty happy about that one. And... Uh... He's going for some more spray in the door, but he's not going to get lucky a second time. Pushing through, though. Dennis, he couldn't open the door. He tries to spray him down, and it just gets closed right in his face. Picking up his dead teammate's gun, and Spitty will clean up the kill on a crim. So another one-for-one one trade. That was all sorts of just janky action right there. Meanwhile, next in mid, flattens JW. And uh, 
This is a good position for Penta to be in. And, you know, going into the half, we've seen Cash kind of just be a back and forth map between teams. And uh, on the CT side, you normally want to get quite a few rounds, make it like a 9 6 or so. We do have Dennis jumping in and getting actually out after a Protax kill. And then Olafmeister responding on a crystal. And Jesus, these teams keep these rounds very close. We got next finding Flusha, and then next finding Olafmeister. It's credit where it's due to Dennis. It was a beautiful pop flash to pop him himself into yep. a main, and that allowed him to blind both Olaf and I think I'm, I'm not sure who the other player was, but it allowed him to even things up and get that kill. And he obviously left Olaf Meister very, very low on HP. And talking about Fnatic being low on things, they're currently very low on cash here on cash. Only one Tech Nine coming out, a P250 coming out from Pronax, and three Glocks. And the three Glocks really emphasizes how how bad the Fnatic economy is right now. They need to conserve as much money as they can, but it seems like they're going to go straight towards the A-bomb site. It's, uh, well, they've had a bit of luck before, but they need to make sure they push in as a unit because Dennis is waiting for them. Troubly now is uh, preparing to rotate back towards mid. I think Penta have read this, or have they? Fnatic crawling all the way back to T-spawn, and maybe they're going to try their luck on B, but at the moment, they're just peeking one by one, and I'm sorry, up against the orbs, up against the rifles of the Germans, it's going to take something special to crack it, and this might be something special, JW, oh. sneaky like, he still couldn't drop down next, and now, Fnatic just got to throw all their eggs in one basket, but they're not going to be able to get these frags, and down goes Pronax, that was so unlucky for JW. That was the one frag that could have cleared out the B bomb site and got that plant down. Exactly, exactly. And just getting that plant may have given them, for example, it may have given JW that extra kick of money just to purchase an AK-47 over the Galil. And obviously, you prefer the AK-47 because it will give you a one-shot headshot as opposed to the Galil. So, that's what Counter-Strike comes down to sometimes, the nitty-gritty of things, the really, really, really small details. And Let's see if it's uh, going to be something Fnatic are going to live to regret. They're just going for a straight up mid play though, and Trouble is just going to shut that down by killing JW. And uh, they still keep going up though. Never mind, Smoke on a speedway. And again, Crim's going up aggressive. He's going to be that man to watch out for. Spitty though on truck is ready and waiting for if they peek along the side here. And Dennis as well made his way into Squeaky. He's going to find one in Flusha. And then sees if they advance up on the rafters. Gets the headshot with that sick flick on a Crim's. Pronax takes down Dennis, and uh, they're in this A bomb site right now, but they can't get the plant just yet. It's not safe enough for them. As Pronax falls in back quad, there's that man by Forklift, and uh, it looks like it's going to be all but lights out here for Olaf Meister. He's trying to look towards Squeaky. He's getting flanked down, and yep, Crystal takes him down, and they salvage up an AWP. So, well played, Dennis, with some six shots. Another thing worth mentioning, obviously building on the fact that we said that Fnatic have already qualified, Cash is obviously part of the Katowice map pool, and with Katowice only a few more days away, there's a big, big chance that Fnatic know that there's going to be thousands of people watching this, including their opponents. So there's a big chance that they might be trying to hide things. Uh, we've got to take that into account, hence why they might not be revealing too much, because this definitely doesn't look like the Fnatic we're normally used to seeing on Cash. And again, they find themselves very, very low on money, but. The mass majority of them, in fact all of them, are just creepy crawling their way towards this B bomb site. Here they come, they've only got next to try and deal with, and we know how deadly the pistols can be at short range. He finds one, he's looking for a second there, as they push out of checkers, he doesn't want to retry to peek Crims. He's got some backup from trouble, the incendiary as well doing some serious work, but Prodax pushes him. Crims as well, running in with the help of that flash, takes down next, it's a 2 on 2 they have some guns. Nade coming in though, oh it gets blocked by the box. Although Crim's getting put down to 20, Crim's gets the shot onto Dennis. And now, 2 on 1, Spitty. The man of the hour. He's going to throw out a nade. It's going to do some serious damage. And puts Crim's down to 17. He's got he's to gotta try to finagle this. Gets the headshot, but can't get Crim's in time. Oh no. A disaster for the Penta side and Fnatic get around. Yeah, really well played from Fnatic. They made sure the two Fnatic players that they peaked at the same time. The last Penta player, you know, he. He could have taken a gamble and tried to spray at the two of them, which was essentially what he did, but he could only focus on one at once, and a great eco round coming in from Fnatic. And I said it earlier on, most of their rounds they were going towards the A bomb site, but they finally decided to change it around, and the thing is, the CTs at the start of rounds are going really, really aggressive towards the B bomb site, and Flusher was getting those entries. So I'd definitely, I'd definitely like to see Fnatic try their luck on the B bomb site a little bit more, especially because, for example, take a look at it right now, 
The only player really holding the B-bomb site is Next, and Fnatic need to pick up on the fact that there's only one CT really holding the B-bomb site, and Penta need to, and Fnatic, sorry, need to take advantage of that. Yeah, Fnatic really needs to take advantage of the one-man hold. So, again, playing it slow towards A. They didn't even push up Crimson uh, Squeaky this time. He's kind of just lingering back out uh, towards mid, where the three-man in Crystal, he's pushed all the way up. He's trying to peek out. He's, he's going for this peek on a JW. He's, he's really playing with his life, though. JW can react fast enough. He tries to. He can't get the wall bang shot. Crystal, he hears him behind him. He's trying to take that all of but he can't do it. Oh, boy. He could have retreated out with just a free kill, but getting a little too aggressive. Yeah, now Olaf Meister in a great position to take out one of these CTs. Maybe as an entry onto short to give them a gateway towards the A bomb site. He knew that someone was there. Because of the flash, of course, but by the looks of things, they are going to head over towards the B bomb site. Olaf will go into vents. They've got one or two players outside of B bomb site as well. Crimson Flusher being those players. And look at this great position Pronax is in, but Spitty knows what he's doing. Oh boy, so we'll see Pronax go for the peat. His butt actually gets spotted out, and now they're just going straight into this B site. Next finds one, Trouble finds the other, and Olaf Meister in a one on two. He'd need to get the ace to clutch this round out. The bomb has not been planted. It's three seconds of the clock. He's going to chase down Dennis. He gets the oh, he did it! Oh, my lord. Olaf Meister. Five I flags. I am so sorry for yelling, but. Five amazing frags from a world class player in Olaf Meister. I think even JW's probably sat at home right now clapping his hands because that was just phenomenal. <laughs> and you know, people will be saying that Fnatic have nothing to play for. Well, that's what Olaf Meister wants to play for. Sexy, sexy frags from a world class player. Crims comes in, gets the entry onto the A bomb site. Pronax not too far behind as he rallies the troops. Fnatic here looking for 8-7 and they're two men up here and it looks like they're going to take control on this A-bomb site and also win the round. Jeez, holy cow. But now next, he can get himself a 4k here and try to stop them from taking this A-bomb site. The bomb has not been planted yet. He's kind of on truck in a tough spot. He's going to get smoked off. Trying to go for the spray. They're not finding much. He's going to flash his way into the site. And get himself up on top of this electrical box too. Finding Flusha gets peeked out and gets shot in the back of the head. So, there you go. I think after a round like that, where you get aced, you just lose all confidence in the rest of the half. So, uh, <laughs> woo, pent to have their work cut well, out for them. Well, it was a good job. You know, if they were going to lose confidence on the back of that ace, it came at the right time for Penta, to be honest, when there was only one round left in the half. But, yeah, this pistol round now in this second half could end up being huge. If Penta managed to steal it, then the CTs providing everything goes according to plan for Penta after winning the pistol won't really be able to buy up until after the next two rounds, which will leave Penta at 11-7. And if they manage to win the proper gun round after the first three initial rounds and it'll leave them at around 12 or 13 and leave them in really really good stead to take the game on and win it but Fnatic if they manage to win this one and prevent the bomb from going down obviously then you really expect them to buy up the big weapons after winning the pistol and capitalize on the economical situation and put themselves at 10 rounds but hey it's still all to play for uh, and let's see how the Swedes are going to do on their CT side Yep, so second half starting up here from Penta and my oh my, looks like Fnatic have finally warmed up. Bomb back at A, three towards Squeaky, and uh, they have two smokes and two flashes, so the executing into this A site could work out pretty well for them. We'll have to see though if the taps from Crims are online, it's troubling, might be the first person he runs into, yeah. Gotta get him wall banged a little bit. They smoke him off and flash bang though, so going straight for this A take, they jump on in, Crims finds one, but next has the Tech 9. And makes quick work of him in the trade. But do they know the last man here in quad? The four man here in JW. He's hiding in the smoke. He's lighting up with Dennis. X-ray is so good right now. And he's holding <laughs> this position. Look at him. He's so patient. He's waiting. That smoke's going to fade in a couple seconds. And there he goes. He peeks out. Surprise, Dennis. Going to rip his head off. Looking for a second kill. Next chases him down, though. Tech 9 working big for him. It's a two on three. Olaf Meister lit up. Flusher chasing in. They kill off Troubly. And now next in the smoke. Peeking out. Going to fight Olaf. They can't go over the defuse just yet. A nice little shot through the box and line up. He did it. Oh, he's clutching it out right now. Can he get this last kill though? He's looking for Flusha. Flusha put down a 51. Should be he's got body armor. And he did it. No, he did it for the, the time. Going off. Yes. All right. 
This is really what I like. Well played. This is good Counter Strike. Holy crap! Well, again, not only did that show us how powerful the Tech Nine is, but it was a great, great lesson for any you know new players to the game there on on how you can utilize the time in your favor when the bomb's down, the same way you can utilize time on the CT side. And all you have to do is dance around, and the CTs knew that they couldn't defuse, and like you said, there was even one point where they lined up. So here we go, two scouts coming out, one in the hands of Crims, and one in the hands of JW. So Fnatic failed to capitalize on this one. We should really see Penta win their 11th round as uh, Spitty watches for the flank outside the B-bomb site. The rest of the players just keeping their distance. They know that they've got to try and stay as far away from these CZs as possible. Yeah, the CZs are uh, pretty damn strong still, but not as they used to be. Unfortunately, I missed the old CZ. Looking at a vent kill, possibly. Crims does tag Dennis, and he's got back up there, but as they make this play already, they're just trying to get the wall bang in, trying to do some damage, but they do not get anything off. And Dennis gets put down to one health. That is a really tough spot to be in right now. And Olaf Meister getting boosted up does end up trading out. Crims again going for a peek out here with that scout. Does tag a second member, putting next down to nine. So this take on this B site needs to be quick. We do have Flesh of Finding one. And then a jump scout coming in too. Holy crap. We got Crims tagging everybody. Picks up a clean kill on the next. Dennis gets flanked up by Pronax. Troubly. Again in a poor spot here. Crims looking for the jump scout. Gets it. And. Looking like when Titan went for uh, the eco scout buys, Crims makes it work. Well, exactly. They've got so many quality aimers that you know they don't need armor. They can make it work. And full credit where it's due to Olaf Meister, his teammate. I think it was Crims at the time on that B bomb site who boosted him into vents, and Penta weren't expecting it. And at uh, such short range with the CZ75. One frag was all he needed to mess things up for Penta, and he didn't just get the frag, but he got the information on where so many Penta players were. And now the economy has switched in the completely different direction, and Penta are now being forced onto an eco, and it looks like they're going to boost straight out of mid. Exactly. The Tech Nines, let's see whether they're going to win this one for the Germans. There's no one mid. Oh, it actually is someone mid. Never mind. I'm blind. Sorry. I'm not wearing my glasses today. I don't even wear glasses. <laughs> Alright, so... There's one back quad, one sitting towards Squeaky Door, and uh, they just go straight up mid, so we'll see what they run into here. They got some serious pressure from Olaf Meister, he does light up too, he gets dinked in response though. Next pushing on in, he's gonna find himself one possibly here, he does take down Crims, Crims got a one for one though. Nade coming in, flush up with this Mag 7, and Olaf Meister on the flank, Mag 7 kill number one, $800. Can he get some more though, Crystal pushing on through, and ooh, salvaging a gun, running away. He shouldn't be able to live here, but this should be a 9-9, and Fnatic have tied it up. Well, Flesh really wants it. his money. <laughs> yeah. He knows that it could end up making the difference in the end because of how close this game is. We've got Olaf who's flanking from behind. Really good communication coming in from Fnatic. And there we go. 9-9. Fnatic, as always, making it look easy, making it look simple. And it really, really, really is all to play for here. Fnatic, I think they'll be more than aware of the fact that Penta, unless they go for the force buy, are going to be in a dire economical state. And that's represented by the fact that JW is stuck with his UMP and Flusher is stuck with his Mag 7. I mean, the Mag 7 is not too bad. I mean, you're going against only pistols and no armor. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. It's, it's a good choice because they know Penta on an eco. There's a lot of teams who don't keep track of that and would have uh, ended up spending oh. money on an M4. Next, just gets hit in the face by that nade. So flashbang their way in. Pronax finds one. He's going to get pushed in the corner. Then the incendiary coming out too. And Pronax does as much damage as possible with a big 3k. We got JW hugging the wall here. Dennis with the P250. Gets the tap and alright. They do a little bit of damage, but economically standing, Fnatic are just fine. And yep, they get the lead for the first time. Fanatic. Exactly, and out comes uh, I mentioned JW's orping on the CT side. Now let's see whether he is gonna get mid, because if he does take it mid, we could see a really interesting orp battle happen at mid. It's gonna be Crystal versus JW. Whoever wins that battle could uh, dictate who ends up winning the game. JW? No, he's taking his orc towards the A bomb site, interestingly enough. And he's gonna sit Ooh. in front of Quad. He didn't get that shot. Wow, Crystal, I thought he hit that, but with the truck boost, it just didn't work out, unfortunately. 
And all fighters are pushed up. From JW, yeah. he's going too aggressive here. But that's the thing about JW, he plays such an aggressive style of play that opponents don't expect it, and then they make it work in their favor, and there's an entry from Crims. Hmm. So, Nate over the top, not really going to do much. And losing Spitty kind of hurts a bit. Crystal going for the boost again. I think Olaf Meister may have saw his head. That's just our X-ray, though. But, uh, not risking it. Flusher 2 going for some quick peeks. And not seeing too much. So some slow play coming in. They pop some vents. And they go out mid. They're trying to exercise that right to just push out. The question is, though, if they can make this work. 40 seconds on the clock. And uh, Crystal leading the way with this AWP. Oh. Oh, so close. Okay, never mind. Protonax dropped. I thought he was going to stay in that up position. But uh, it does fall to Crystal. The A side is completely open right now. There was that A main push coming in from JW. And like you said, playing way too aggressive here. Dennis, going to find Olaf Meister in mid. And uh, that means A site should be good here. They might not expect JW to be hidden here, though, you know? The mm -hmm. bomb is going to go down sometime soon. JW hears it going down, and of course the rest of the Fnatic players know that they're there. Great flick shot from JW. Crims is going to come round to drop Dennis. Double, in fact, from Crims. And this is why Fnatic are as good as they are. They've oh. only got one more to deal with. As you do, nice and casual from JW. He got the AWP frag. Decided, you know what? Two versus one. I'm going to drop my AWP. I'm that confident that I'm going to pick up an AK-47 instead. Take out the trash and then pick up my AWP again. And that's just what I love about watching Fnatic play. They have such a versatile and free way of playing and they always look so confident. And the thing about JW is he takes those risks. He goes ridiculously aggressive. But the mass majority of the time they always pay off for him because of how good his aim is. He's just a pleasure to watch. And uh, the Swedes back in the lead here. 11-9. Germans having a tough time. So, they buy up as much as possible crystals on a Tech 9 by that flash over mid just destroys Olaf Meister so you can't see and peek out again. Getting smoked off as well. They're just going for quick plays. Let's see next. Gonna go up Speedway, taking down Pronax. That's a big way to open this one up. JW as well. Cannot get in his position into A main. This time, Dennis is there. And uh, JW should be very, very careful. And it looks like they're moseying their way back towards this B site. Crystal may be the first one caught off guard by Crims. As walking up, back turn towards him, Crims takes it out, looking for a second, finding Spitty. And they should know where he is by now. Yeah, Crims finally falls over towards Toxic, and it's a three on three. And, man, these teams keep it so even and keep it so close. I didn't think the game would be this close at this point. So, Fnatic, demonstrating how good of a team they are, but struggling some rounds. Jada, <laughs> Olaf are going for the peaks of the smoke, too. Really quick shoulder peaks. He's going to make his way up to upper. Take down Troubly. Just showing how fast he is. And then JW on the flank. Oh, man. So, we got Dennis in the back boxes here. They have a general idea of where he is. Now they know where he is. The P250 from Olaf Meister 2. Tr Dennis gets one. Oh, I can't get both. And that's the defuse. And that'll be the 12-9 score for Fnatic now. Yeah, great retake coming in from Fnatic. It looked... At one point that they were out for the count, that it looked like they were going to be outnumbered, but... <sighs> Olaf Meister, he threw that nade from the upper area, it acted as a, uh, as a decoy, and that allowed JW to just flank from behind, and the Penta player wasn't watching his uh, behind, got caught with his pants down, and... Again, we saw Crims, who pushed all the way up to Toxic, Penta didn't expect him there, and he made those two frags look ridiculously easy. And that's just Fnatic's playstyle for you. JW knows that the T's are coming. He's not going to fall back. He's, in fact, going to pick and go. Oh, my days. How on earth did he even see Dennis there? That is just... He probably hit him in the shoulder like over the eight. box. Yeah. I mean, how do you even do that? That's JW for you, ladies and gents. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know. Six shot, though. <laughs> and uh, the bomb's still committed here. They're looking to push up. So we'll see. Crystal trying to get some wall bangs out. And Pronax still holding off. Switch for JW a little bit. Can get this pop flash from Forklift while Spitty's waiting for the man vent possibly to push out. Uh, let's see. He hasn't made this down just yet. Trouble and Crystal opened up that A site though. And he's catching the rotators, playing that lurking position perfectly. Now it's all up to Crimson Flush to see if they can clutch this one out. Without Olaf Feister, without JW, it's going to be tough. So. You got smokes coming in. Bomb has been planted. They molly Crims off, so he's got to push up. He's four health now. 
Can he get another kill, though, is the question. One health at this point. And, oh, yep, Spitty spots him out. And Flusha, is he going to save? What's he going to try to do? Yeah, he's going to save. The money is not too good for Fnatic. They've had to rebuy a lot. They have, because you mentioned it earlier on. The, the game really has come down. The rounds have been so close. The players have been so evenly matched. Uh, Fnatic, granted, have had more aggressive and more exciting style, but Penta, they've been... A lot of people talk about German efficiency, and <laughs> Penta really have been efficient so far. And they're in a great position here to bring the game back to 12-11, because they're the ones with the big weapons, they're the men up against the boys, but even after they nerfed the CZ-75, we don't really see many teams use it as much as in the past, but Fnatic still love using it, and my word, do they make it work for them. So Pronax is going to be the first casualty here on the eco. There's a big squeaky push coming in from Fnatic too. That needs to be kept an eye out for. And uh, Spitty's going to be that man. He's, he's been lurking pretty well. Gotta say, mad props to him. As they do get one kill with the CC. That's the bomb down. Spitty, you got to find two. Crimson's is trying to jump up there to, I guess, get some more info. But they do end up paying for it. Dennis, in the meantime, trying to get a flick onto Olaf. That nade it isn't going to be enough to kill him. And then Flush is dueling it out of B. So this round is theoretically done. Yeah, it should be done now, with just Flusher remaining with a CZ. And um, that shot from Dennis seals it. And they get the timing too with the bomb too, so they get a little bit more money. Yeah, exactly. 12-11 now. It's again, money still relatively tight for Fnatic, but we are going to see Crims go for just the FAMAS. So, AWP in the hands of Olaf. We saw JW try and utilize it on the Abon site earlier on. Let's see where Olaf is going to take it come this round. And, uh how Dennis is going to try and counter it. Olaf is actually going to take his orb towards mid. He's all eyes on boost and, uh -oh. well, the battle of the snipers is going to be won by the Swede next. Tried to pick up the orb. He uh, has managed to save it and he's in it to trouble eat as the nades fly in towards the B and Olaf with two, changing his position as well, keeping the Germans guessing. But JW's aggression there finally punished by the Germans. Yeah, and Flush are going to find a kill on the Spitty too, so this round definitely getting blown up here by Olaf. Finds a third! Where does he just pull this from, man? His aiming is just insane! Next, though, in a one-on-two, Olaf must around a 3k, he's got the bomb on his back and a B-site open. It's tough though once you get this plant down, because then you're stuck in this position. So, he goes to the plant, he's going to have to clutch it out if he wants to tie this one up. 12-11 currently the score. Penta. Showing a lot of people how strong of a team they are. Olaf Meister though, showing how good of an opera he is. And how top caliber Fnatic are. Pop flashing his way in, he gets mollied and forced off just a little bit. Next, he heard him jump. Jumping in, Pronax is the first to fall. Olaf Meister with 30 health and a dream and an op- No, he can't do it! Next, he clutches it in a 1 versus 3. And gets an ace on the planet! Oh my god! That was incredibly unlike Fnatic. We saw the player pushing from CT spawn and Olaf Meister didn't even bother <sighs> trying to move in. Let me, and let me press tab. Penta player, two 1v1s. Next is the top ADR on the side of Penta. He's 30 and 12. Yeah. Against He's Fnatic. really well. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Penta. They feel confident on this B bomb site. And towards the B bomb site they walk. They know that Fnatic. Are only gonna have pistols, the mollies are gonna fly into this bomb site and let's see whether Dennis can single-handedly open up the CTs. Down goes one, headshot coming in from Dennis onto Crim. Spinny joining in on the action. We'll do a 180 turn and try to get more, but look at how low these terrorists are. It's just like a firing range, they're just spraying it all yeah. to all hell. Just like keep shooting guys, don't give up. But they get the bomb plant, Olaf Meister for the last man standing, and this should be a 13-12. Oh my. So, uh, did you see this happening? Because I didn't. I definitely didn't see it happening. I mean, I watched Penta's game yesterday on cash, and they didn't look confident at all. But they still won in the end. But again, like we said how they're hiding strats for Katowice, there's a, there also may have been an element of the fact that they knew Fnatic will have been watching them playing this very same map that they knew they'd be playing today. Um, so, again, I think... It's a great time right now to just add these players and have an interview with them and ask them exactly what their game plan was. But Penta, they could win this game, you know. Crystal in Ooh. a great position to capitalize. Down goes one, JW to the right-hand side, but it's not going to matter. Spitty on the other side of the map 
will return things to give his team a one-man advantage as uh, the Swedes at the moment really falling like flies. Yeah, just going for aggressive plays that bite them in the butt, so... Crystal was the first one to open this one up. They know there's one invent now since JW shot. Going in, this B site. We got Crystal with the flick, taking down Flusha, as well as JW invents. He didn't drop down. That spray control was almost perfect, but... Uh, now, bomb planted away. It's a four on two. Pronax and JW have to make this clutch happen. But they're going to save. This is dire straits for their economy right now. 200, 300, 300 dollars left on Olaf, Crims, and Flusha. So they, they need these guns for the next round. Yeah, they definitely do. And be interested to see what the uh, Fnatic players, who of course are currently dead, go for. Money's going to be incredibly tight. Pronax just hiding in spawn. Meanwhile, JW just hiding in NBK on the uh, A bomb site. So I doubt Penta will find any of them at this rate. In fact, they might actually close in onto Pronax. Pronax can hear them. He's holding the angle. Down go. No! How did Pronax not get that frag? And well, well, well. That was unlike Pronax to say the least. He, especially when you consider the fact that Spiddy was on 22 points of health. One chest shot would have done, done the job, but maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign that Fnatic are starting to, to sweat. It's a sign that Fnatic are starting to feel the pressure here. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, right. A team like Fnatic feeling pressure online? I don't know. I don't Definitely know. About it looks that. like it. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, one more round and Penta are on game point, so. Again, playing it slow. Flush it with the Mag 7. 5 7 for Konax. From Moss from Olafeister. He jumps down, gets a headshot on the Dennis. And next, though, I'm boost. They're trading back and forth here. Just going at it right now. But Penta. They get more out of it with these trades. So, we'll see. Pushing forward, Crystal has the AWP on Speedway. There's one that pushed all the way to Squeaky and Pronax, and then there's that one holding Truck side, which is flush with the Mag 7. So, big man to keep an eye out for with this shotgun. As Crystal inches his way up, he's, he's crouch peeking the corner and gets the shot! Woo! Crystal warming up, on fire. Trying to catch up to his teammate there next, but he's got a long way to go. Bomb is planted. Pronax and Crims have to make this work if they want to keep Fnatic streams alive. So Flash bangs in Spitty. Gonna catch Pronax pushing out. Crims now coming up truck. Will this be the single tap? Uh, I think Spitty has an idea of where he is. Oh, oh. Crims checking out Speedway. Doesn't get the kill out of Trouble. Trouble just 180s him. Oh. My heart. I can't take it. Penta Esports, one round away from winning this game. They've huffed and they've puffed, and they've almost blown down the fanatic Swedish house. And uh, they've got one more round to try and salvage themselves, but no room for error, Egad. Lose this round, and Fnatic are going home. But fortunately, they've already qualified for the ESEA line in Dallas. But let's see whether Penta can uh, manage themselves to get one step closer to qualifying. In fact, no, they haven't qualified either. They're playing for nope. pride, but what yep. pride it will be if they manage to beat the DreamHack Winter Champions. Obviously, the first DreamHack Winter, not the one that LDLC won. <laughs> Spitty outside of B. Olaf Meister, the last line of defense on the B bomb site. And Penta, they know they've got a lot of time to work with here. They're just taking their time and waiting to see Fnatic go aggressive and run into a mistake themselves. And they try to capitalize on it. Do or die time for Fnatic right now. Pronox also boosted up at A main. We got JW getting lit up as well. Tagged to 29. Crystal still peeking up mid. He's getting flashed out. He's going to look for this peek. I saw him jump across. Oh, man. How did he hit that shot? That's insane. JW as well is close. So looking to wait for droppers or something like that. And they flashed their way in. Pronox not in the boost spot anymore. Seeing as the smoke is gone. They're pushing into A main. Just going for it. Dennis pushing it a squeak at the same time. Next finds Crims. Throwing a Molly in back quad. Covering all their bases. Flusher with the UMP takes Dennis down. Flusher falls to Crystal though. And is this it? Is it going to be a 16-12? Have Penta done it? JW goes down. It's all up to Olafmeister with no armor and an op. He finds the shoulder. Stops the plant. 18 seconds on the clock. They need to get this bomb down. Two health on Trubly. 100 on Spitty. They smoke up. And... Uh, it looks like Olaf is going to have to have a little bit more time on the clock here. He jumps up the boost. It goes down. Penta takes the game. 16-12. What a, what a game. 
I just, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Definitely.